I'm in Binbrook in southern Ontario, a region where a lot of the Canadian soy is grown. You know the blocks of tofu we can buy at the grocery store? Well, if we turned the whole Canadian soy harvest into tofu, it would mean over 10 billion of these blocks every year. Jeff Barlow still farms the same land that his ancestor did 150 years ago. He produces more than a million kilograms of soya beans every year. You and your family have been taking care of that land for a very long time, eh? Yes, my family's been here since 1843. Wow. And it's been 150 years of taking care of the soil, making sure we do everything right, and I'm doing all this so that I can give it to my kids and my grandkids, and they can farm it for another 150 years. That's my dream. When you're a farmer in Canada, technology is really part of your life, eh? It has to be. I think uh, into the years to come that technology is going to be a huge part of farming. We have to feed a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, by the year 2050, 9 billion people, that's a lot of people to feed. So I think that in order to get gains in yields, in order to produce more soy and produce more crops, I think technology is definitely going to be the way we're going to get there. It lets us put the right product in the right place at the right time. And not too much. And not too much. In the olden days, my grandfather, he would take fertilizer, he'd go to the field and he'd put so much fertilizer on the whole field, everywhere. But we're finding today with technology, we can test the field yeah. and we can find out that this part over here actually has lots of fertilizer, but this part over here needs more. So what we'll do is we'll actually put that nutrient where it needs it, when it needs it. There was a lot of care taken to plant this field. It was first, uh, we, we no-till the field. We do not use any, any tillage equipment. We leave all of last year's corn okay. residue yeah, on, we the, can see on the it, surface. Eh? We leave yeah. it on the surface to help feed some of the bugs and some of the bacteria that grow very healthy for the soil. Uh, we plant it directly right into it. Then once we do harvest them, uh, these particular soybeans are, are tofu-grade soybeans. They'll be clean, they'll be sorted, they'll be sent to Malaysia, China, Japan, sometimes, the, sometimes Europe depending on where the customer is. And when you see the future of your farm, how do you see it? I see a bright future. I see one that my kids can participate in, one that they're worried about soil health and sustainability and listening to our customers because we're the best. And I think my kids understand that and they want to continue that tradition and be the best. Thanks to the expertise and innovation of our producers and the high standards guaranteed by the Kenyan government, we grow soya beans recognized around the world for its exceptional quality. And that is why we are the best. Yeah.